Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew an elastic casing. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is an example of an elastic casing. It's on a waistline of this skirt and if I just pull you can see there's an elastication going on there and the elastication creates soft folds and gentle gathers. This is the right side, that's the wrong side so they do look quite identical. And what it is, is you create a funnel in your fabric and then you place your elastic into the funnel in order to gather it up to get this kind of effect. The first thing we need to do is create the casing for the elastic. So you get the top edge of your waistline, you're going to press a fold of one centimetre, five eighths of an inch, and then you're going to press another fold, which will be the width of your elastic. My casing is now ready to be stitched. I'll just show you what it looks like once it's now been pressed. So we've got the first fold and then I've got the bigger fold which will fit the width of my elastic. I'll just put my elastic against it so you can see. So it fits the width of my elastic. I'm also going to stitch above and below the elastic and Judge that with the elastic you're working with. So I've added another centimetre, which is five eighths of an inch, so that I can get a narrow stitching top and bottom. I've now pinned the casing into place. I just put one row of pins along the bottom edge where the where it's open, and I've also left an opening here for the elastic. So I'll start at this point, go all the way around and I'll stop at this point so that I can insert the elastic into the actual channel that I'm creating. I've now sewn the first row of stitching which was the fold, the top end of the casing. I'm now ready to start sewing the opening part of the casing. I'm going to start here and I'm going to finish there so that will allow me to insert my elastic. I put down, remove my needle Show my work's nice and straight. Needle down, and I'm just going to sew a couple of millimeters, about three or four millimeters, away from this edge. I've now sewn the casing, and this is what it looks like. This is the wrong side, with the opening to insert the elastic, and there's the right which will be finished off with stitching once the elastic has gone inside. Now you need your elastic with a safety pin at the end, a bigger safety pin than what I've got here. I've just momentarily just lost my bigger one, so I've just managed to find a tiny one, but do make sure it is a bigger one so you can actually hold on to it and pull the elastic through. Then you get your elastic with your pin, put it into the opening, and then you're going to pull the pin and that will take the elastic all the way around. So it's just a case of gathering. As you go, pull the pin, the elastic goes in, gather some more, pull, and the elastic goes in. I've now pulled my elastic all the way around the casing. And it's a case of just removing the pin, pulling a bit more of the elastic out, and then over lapping the elastic about an inch which is about 2.5 centimeters and then I'm going to do a row zigzag and a row zigzag there to keep the elastic in place just make sure that your elastic isn't twisted so do give you know a good feel to make sure it's not twisted anywhere and once you're happy with that then it's a case of going ahead to your sewing machine and stitching the elastics together now that I've sewn the elastic by zigzagging, done two rows of zigzagging, it's a case of then pulling on your waistline to your skirt so that the elastic now vanishes into the actual casing. And once you've done that, it will be a case of going back to the sewing machine and stitching from here to here, and then your elastic casing is now complete. I do hope you found that video tutorial of help and so an elastic casing can be an easy process. Do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Click here for free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. Any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below. 
and I'll see you next time.